Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $91,645.71. In the past year, I am up $15,508.28. Year to date, I am currently down $307.86. Today was a red day for me, I lost a couple hundred dollars. I was down $245.01 during the day. After hours, I'm down $333.68. So it looks like about $500 to $600 down today overall. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $180 covered calls. These expire August 16th. My total return, $27. I'm selling Disney $92 covered calls. These expire August 16th. My total return $12. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 16th. My total return $19. I'm selling SoFi $7.5 covered calls. These expire August 16th. My total return, $180. I have Amazon, $120, $110 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, $66. I have Amazon, $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $2. I'm selling Disney $90 calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, zero. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $940. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $840. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $703. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $500. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, I am down $49. My stocks. I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $170.02. My average cost, $98.94. My total return, $21,329.53. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.61. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $5,920.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $86.20. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $7,480. I have 100 shares of Google. Google's at $159.70. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $1,722. This is a margin account. My margin total is $90,087.82. My margin used is $57,432.12. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with 
$655.70 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $24,454.02. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I'm paying is $10.21 and I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So another slightly red day, down about $500. So it's fine. I mean, it's only down percentage wise 0.27% today and 0.36% after hour. So not a huge movement. Even though it is still red, it's not down by a lot, um, which is nice. There have been days where I was down, you know, over $5,000 in one day. So it's, it's not that type of day. Today's pretty mild. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is McDonald's. So I do have spreads in McDonald's, as you can see here. My put credit spreads and my call credit spreads expiring in December of this year. So I do have a position in McDonald's. Right now, McDonald's is at $270.76. And surprisingly, while the stock positions in my portfolio have gone down by a lot recently, McDonald's has been doing really well recently. In the past month, I mean, they're up. Um, year to date, it looks like they're down by a little bit. Down by 8%. But... In the past month, they're actually doing green up 6.56% in the past month, as opposed to um, some of my positions being red recently in the past month. I think Google is down. Yeah, see, Google, they're down 14.67% in the past month. Pretty sure it's the same with Amazon. They're red also. Yeah, down 12.74% in the past month. So. Yeah, some of my positions, they're down by a lot, but McDonald's, on the other hand, they've been doing really well, in, you know, in the recent past month. Um, one thing that I wanted to talk about is they released a new type of meal. So McDonald's, they released something new, and I want to talk about that. So here's an article that says, new collectible cups launch at McDonald's. Here's what they look like and how to get one. So this is what they released recently. McDonald's new collectible cups officially launched Tuesday, bringing another hit of nostalgia that goes beyond the popular burger chain and into things like Beanie Babies, Hello Kitty, and more. Earlier this month, the burger joint introduced the collector's meal, which features a choice of breakfast or lunch items, along with one of six collectible cups inspired by the chain's connection to iconic toys, movies, pop culture, and more. Over the years, our fans have built a special connection to McDonald's collectibles, a press release from McDonald's said. From McDonald's, so, sorry, from Happy Meal toys to merch, games, and cups, these keepsakes are more than just things. They unlike core memories around some of our favorite McDonald's moments. So what will the collectible cups look like? Here's a picture of them, right? McDonald's collector's meal. These are the six cups that you can get what they look like what is on the collectible cups so here's the different designs that you can get barbie and hot wheels okay so that's one of them the mattel toys beanie babies if you guys know about beanie babies they were a really uh you know crazy trend of people collecting these little stuffed animals um back in the day back in the 90s Coca-Cola, that's the soda brand. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Coca-Cola is. Hello Kitty and Peanuts. Now, that's interesting that they are combining Hello Kitty with Peanuts, but um, I mean, just Hello Kitty by itself would have been a nice cup. Uh, or Peanuts by itself, but it's an interesting combination, those two. Shrek, Jurassic Park, and Minions. <laughs> Another wild mashup. Uh, but uh, I do like Shrek. Minions are kind of horrific, but uh, yeah, I think it's funny. And lastly, McDonald's, the Grimace Glass, Boo Buggets, Funny Fry Friends. So uh, they have a cup that's McDonald's themed. Now, 
The meal comes with, well, usually when I get it, I get it with, you know, fries and a drink and uh, you either choose a uh, McNuggets meal or the, the Big Mac meal. So those are the two options you can get. And I've been collecting a couple of these. I'm going to show you right now. Hold on. Let me. Okay. So I actually do have a couple cups here for uh, to show you guys. So here's one of them. Here's the Coca-Cola one. As you can see, there's a Coca-Cola truck. And if we go along, there's a like a little house. And then there's a polar bear, the Coca-Cola bear. And it looks like a, a drinking fountain with Coca-Cola. So yeah, this is one of the cups that I got with my collector's meal that I got recently. Let me show you guys another one. Here's another cup. This is the Beanie Babies cup. So there's a bunch of different Beanie Babies on here. You got like a giraffe. Uh, I think that's a flamingo. Some cacti. Uh, there's an elephant. A lobster. So... Yeah, this is the Beanie Babies Collector's Cup that comes with the collector's meal from McDonald's. So yeah, it's I think this is going to do very well. Um, a lot of people like collecting things from McDonald's. I used to collect uh, the Happy Meal toys. One time, they released these uh, Marvel ones where you can get Marvel characters like the Avengers. Yeah, like Thanos, Captain America, um, you know, Thor. And I collected a whole bunch of those. And the whole point is to collect every piece, right? Some people would just buy it on eBay, but I actually went around to the different restaurants and collected the, the toys from the meals. But anyways, this is aimed at adults, it looks like, because it costs more. Uh, it comes with bigger portions in the actual meal and I, I think these are actually aimed more towards like nostalgia and people who are older who are going to remember what these even are but yeah I do think this is going to do well because adults are going to spend money to collect these things that, that's what I think which might be helpful for the sales of McDonald's Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about because, you know, I, I am invested in McDonald's, so I do keep up to date with what's going on with the company, what products they're launching, any new meals, things like that. So hopefully this goes well. Anyways, that's all I have for now. I don't have any other updates. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll keep on making more videos like this in the future. So if you guys do like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will continue making portfolio updates like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.